Hello, I'm fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed, um, we'll see today how we're gonna check the air condition on this car using a CO2 gas. So this bottle is full with CO2 gas, and the bottle is not like fully full, it's only like 20 bars inside, but 20 bars is okay for uh, testing air conditioning. Um, usually testing them with compressed air on 8 bars but uh, it's early in the morning and I can't turn on the compressor because it will wake up the whole house so um, we will use this bottle first thing we want to do is connect the high pressure valve We are tapped inside the condenser and then we'll connect the bottle to this gun here. and we'll put some pressure. if I know what I'm doing. Let's see if we have something on the web managers. Maybe it will take, yeah, it will take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I have the setup here. That's because it's a CO2 gas for uh, water. And you can see that we are pressurizing the system. You can see the rise. Okay. So we're pressurizing the system with CO2. We'll see how much uh, pressure is gonna be able to make. Let's uh, let's give it a little bit of time. Okay, so a few minutes later, it's all pumped up. I just I just did the. Uh, Regulator here all the way to the top. I will let this one go now. And then I'll do the regulator.
so let's see how much we got inside it's right there okay what what is the difference between the high and the low side is that if we are going to see the needle here we will see it a lot more precisely on this side so what I'm gonna do I'll just replace the gauges so it's easier to easier to see the pressures Okay, so if you look closely, that's where the gauge sit. Now go inside the shop, we'll drink a coffee and we'll get back and see if there is any drop in the pressure from this a little bit less than 10 bars. After that, we'll come and spray everything with soapy water, although I already checked it. <laughs> When there is a port on the low side, it's right there, so we'll just remove this uh, air duct and try for the back as well if there is air leak. Okay, so we'll get back to it in a half an hour. By the way, if you can pressurize it to 15 or even 20 bars, it's even better, but my uh, small reductor for the gas welder it just cannot handle such a high pressure okay so like 25 minutes later you can see that we got a drop and now I don't know if the drop is because of the more cold weather because the bottle was inside the garage what we what we're gonna do is spread with some soapy water and got soap here on the bottom and then I got water so I'm just gonna shake the bottle well okay I'll just remove the gauges I just want to show you. What I'm looking for. Looking for bubbles and uh, anything really that can leak air. I know the condenser is not leaking. So I'm not gonna even spread, you can see my other video, I checked it on the car. No. I don't know if you can see the line. Can you 
Yes. Right there. Some soapy water as well. Oh, you can't really see. Sorry. for bubbles myself. I don't think it's leaking. But the lines go over there as well. Let's just spray some. There is two O-rings behind this metal block. They go bad sometimes. Here, here on the AC, um, there is two blocks that can go bad as well. <coughs> oh, can you see the bubbles? There we go. That's where our lake is from. Right there. Yeah. Nice little leak. Trust me, if the right one is leaking, the left one is leaking as well, very slowly, but we can't see it. There is also one here. This one keeps bubbling. Important is that this needle is not. I'm watching where the pipe is. Can you see this right there? This can also cause leaks. Okay, what is going to happen now? I will uh, have to replace the seal. Yeah, and that's how we're gonna repair the leak. At least on this side. And then I'll repeat the whole process and I'll check if there is any uh, pressure drop as well. Well, I'll end the, end, end the video here. Then, uh, I hope the video has been helpful to you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.